family at Quincy's house and worry about their missing friend, Mono. Having last seen him before the appearance of the donkey-headed monster on the beach, the boys suspect that their friend has been felled by this terrifying creature. Quince. Francis Flute asks if they will continue with the play if Bottom is not present, and Quince replies that to do so would be impossible, as Bottom is the only man in all of South Beach who is capable of portraying Pyramus. The, friend, the, boy, the men agree that their friend is the most wittiest, most intelligent, and best person in all of South Beach. <laughs> Snug enters with some alarming piece of news. Theseus and Hippolyta have, have become married, along with some Athenian lords and ladies. The newlyweds are eager to see the play. Flute laments to himself that Bottom would have earned a great deal of money for his portrayal of Pyramus. Just then, Bottom burst triumphantly into the room and asked why everyone looked so sad. The other men are overjoyed to see them, and Bottom says that he has a wondrous story to tell them about his adventure in the forest. Quince asks to hear it, but Bottom replies that there is no time. They must don their costumes and go to the club to perform their play. As they leave, Bottom tells them not to eat any onions or garlic so they can utter sweet breath. <laughs> 